Welcome everyone to the Southern Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. Um, we are so excited for you to be here. Um, we have some great representatives here to share their presentation with you about um, their college and or university. Before we get started, we are going, there are a few housekeeping rules that I'm going to share with you at this point. Um, first, if you have any questions, we highly encourage you um, to ask questions, to please use the Q&A button to type your questions to the presenters at any point uh, during this session. Um, Next is your camera and your microphone is off. You are muted and your video is off. So the panelists can't see or hear you. Um, and then we encourage you to sign up for more sessions. Uh, this is one of many uh, college presentations um, going on uh, now or in the future. So um, please um, feel free to, um, sign, to sign up. And then lastly, uh, this recording is available a week from today. Um, and so um, it, it will be available where you registered for this session and um, available for you to review at any point later on. And then lastly, this uh, session is sponsored by Cambridge Assessment International Education. Um, and we thank them for their partnership. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. And the first uh, school that we have is Tugaloo College. They are here. Hello, good evening, we are here. Awesome. All right, let me um, load my information up um, for you all. Um, thank you all for the opportunity. Thank you all for the platform. Um, we're kind of hopping around here. Okay, yeah, this is this will do, this will do nicely. Okay, yeah. Okay. Let me do that, go here. Oh, may I please have the ability to share the screen? You should have access already. Uh, it says uh, the uh, the um, this will stop other screen sharing. Do you want to continue? Yes, yes. Go ahead. Okay, okay. I just didn't want to knock you off. Okay, no, got you're you. Good. Okay. Let me get you all situated here. Cool. Okay. So uh, greetings. My name is Joel Swan. Um, I am the ed enrollment officer here for Tougaloo College. Um, Tougaloo College is a 1869 um, uh, second oldest historically black college, uh, HBCU. Um, we are where history meets the future. So just kind of want to give you that um, information. Uh, I want to big greetings on behalf of the enrollment management and student engagement. Um, uh, the team there is uh, doing a phenomenal job uh, amidst this COVID pandemic that we're still up under. We are safe. Anything that you all would like to know about uh, what we're doing to prepare students, staff, as well as all of our faculty um, in the midst of this pandemic, you can find it at www.tougaloo.edu. Tougaloo Cares, you will find a 15-page PDF. Um, you can download it and that it will uh, serve you those purposes to let, let you know that we're six feet social distancing, mandatory mask wearing, and we are back open for the spring 2021 semester. Fall 2020, we were not, um, we wanted to usher our students in in a safe manner. So I wanted to keep that um, in context for you all. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Um, Tougaloo College is again, where history meets the future, but we are the cradle of the civil rights movement because everything and anything that has swir swirled themselves around fighting for civil liberties, fighting for injustice, um, and having that needle on um, the pulse of freedom happened on our campus. We've uh, celebrated 150 years in 2019, and we are in 2021, so we are uh, over 150 years of leading, teaching, and moving that needle forward. Um, so about Tougaloo College, again, we are the second oldest private liberal arts institution, HBCU. Uh, we are uh, founded by the American Missionary Association. And though we were founded by the American Missionary Association, we were paid for by the Freedmen's Bureau. So that's just a little history for you all and the students to go check out and do for themselves. But this 500 acre campus sits 
on an intimate, resourceful setting in between three cities of Madison, Ridgeland, and Jackson, Mississippi. We are 10 miles, 10 short miles uh, located from the downtown city center of the capital of Jackson, Mississippi. The uh, name itself is historic. It is Tugalu. Um, it does mean a place at the fork of the stream, and it also is Cherokee for the number two. So uh, I bid you greetings on behalf of myself, my enrollment management team, and I want to bid you greetings on behalf of our 14th and second female president, Dr. Carmen J. Walters, pictured there in that light blue suit. And we all know who that dashing gentleman is in that, that dark blue suit. That is our 46th president, uh, Joseph R. Biden, Jr. Um, so let's just jump into it um, like we need to. Uh, why Tougaloo College? So a lot of students say, well, um, I've never heard of your school. Um, you know, you're located in the South, Mississippi. Um, you know, the name is kind of strange, but I just gave you the historical uh, temperature on that name, on our institution. But a lot of our students come for our biological sciences. A majority of them come for the um, early ID medical program. A lot of them come for our STEM fields, which includes our uh, chemical, um, our chemistry, our chemical engineering, our mathematics, our physics, and things of that nature, but primarily uh, uh, for, uh, they come for our biology and our biology pre-med. So minimum requirements are 2.0, evidence of an ACT or SAT score. So I would like to say that um, the affordable, no out-of-state fees, no application fees, no uh, excuses. So keep that in mind when you're talking about um, a school of this magnitude. Again, no application fee, no out-of-state fee, and no excuses. So we have a total enrollment of 800, a manageable student to professor ratio of 15 to 1. Uh, we are nationally ranked by the U.S. News and World Report for the best economically valued institution, as well as we are ranked top five HBCUs according to the uh, Uh, tuition and fees, $8,374 per academic semester. So again, $8,374 per academic semester. So if you mathematicians out there do this times two, you'll have $16,748. Um, top 25 producers of graduates who earn PhDs in science and engineering. And, and that's not a Joel Swan fact, that is a National Science Foundation research fact. Over 40% of all of our doctors, lawyers, and educators who live, work, and practice in and around the great state of Mississippi receive their degree from Tougaloo College with over 60% of our graduates um, entering graduate school as soon as they walk across the stage. Um, for time's sake, how much time do I have, Ms. Catherine? You actually are at time. I'm at time? Yeah. Okay, let me, let, me, let me just do two things okay. real quick. Um, I want you all to take pictures of this if you can, um, but let's go, let me just give them uh, two pieces of information. We do have four scholarships um, and we'll run through them real quick. These are our presidential, our provost, take a picture of that. Those are full ride scholarships. And then we have our Eagle and Servant Leader scholarships, which are our partial scholarships. But one of the things, Ms. Catherine, I wanted them to understand is the, we do have sports, um, these are out-of-state scholarships. So when we talk about college, we want you a scholarship, scholarship, scholarship in. So we are a UNCF affiliated institution. So we want to uh, our, our students to understand that scholarships are a real thing. And I want you to scholarship in to your uh, destination. My name is Joel Swan, 601-977-7771, jswan at tougaloo.edu. Connect with me, please do so. Um, and this is Tougaloo College. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, Jay Swan um, at Tougaloo.edu. Again, my number is 601-977-7771. Again, this is Tougaloo College, and I'll drop the rest of the information in the chat. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you so much. Um, next, we have uh, a representative from Langston University. Hello, everybody. I'm Kyle Gregory. I'm a proud 2009 graduate of Langston University. I studied English, marched in the band, was captain of the academic team, went to law school afterwards. I'm saying all this to say in short, if you get involved at your HBCU, you are going to love your experience. Now let's jump right into Langston. 
We were founded 10 years before Oklahoma was even a state. We are the only HBCU in the state of Oklahoma, and we're one of the westernmost HBCUs in the entire country. So you'll see a diverse student body that comes from about 38 different states. We've got 1,750 undergraduates on our campus, and this is huge because the number one reason why you should attend Langston University is our professors. You want to know what your investment buys. College is not cheap. So your investment at Langston, our professors double down. They do huge things. They have made us the third largest recipient of grants in the state of Oklahoma. And there's over 32 colleges. That means Langston gets 10 times the grant money as a school down the road, 25 miles, that's 10 times our size, not 10 times the money, but we get more grant money than a school that's 10 times our size. So when you think about that, our lead internships, like for instance, in biology, we have internships with Harvard Medical School, with Yale, with UC Davis. We're doing lung, prostate, and breast cancer research. We're working on the Mars land. So when the United States lands on Mars, our students will be able to say, we took part in that. So that's what you get for your money here at Langston. In addition to that, we have nice facilities. You get your own private room in a four bedroom apartment, even year one as a freshman, share a bathroom with one other person. Year two, it gets even nicer. Look at the picture, scholars in apartments, full size bed, bigger closet, nice sized living room as you can see there and a cute little pond in the middle. And then if you have a child, don't let it stop you from going to college. We've got a two bedroom apartment waiting for you with a washer and dryer, oven, everything you need waiting on you. Also our honor students can stay in the Commons starting year two. Then Young Hall's our cost effective option. If you wanna save money, sharing a room in Young can save you 2,300 on the year. We've got free tutoring in every class, over 40 organizations on our campus. We've got eight of the Divine Nine and multiple music fraternities and sororities. And we're home to the largest collection of African-American artifacts and literature and African artifacts that date back to the 1400s in our Melvin B. Tolson Black Heritage Center. We've got six schools of study to choose from. We are elite in physical therapy. We've got a 100% graduation rate in that doctoral program and a 100% job placement rate. In addition to that, the jobs they're getting are incredible. We place people with as trained with NBA teams there. We're the number one ranked HBCU for nursing for the third year in a row. Agriculture, our animal science program, number one internationally for small ruminative animal research. So if you want to work in an animal science lab that's better than many graduate school programs, look at Langston University for opportunities. Here's a list of our majors, a few other highlights that our professors have made elite rehabilitation services. We got a five and a half million dollar grant there. We got another master's program in rehabilitation, rehabilitation counseling. We're one of the few schools with a public health major that focuses on minority health and health disparities. So all this to say, we can help you get better, help you help others get better. And like I said about biology, elite program with elite internships. Would you rather compete with a bit at a larger school for a, say two elite internships with 300 students? Or would you rather compete with say 15 to 20 students for eight elite internships? We've got opportunity here waiting on you. And our music education program is the fastest growing out here. 100% job placement rate in that field since 2003. Google the teach grant if you're planning on going into education. Our athletic programs, we're NAI but we have the best crowd of all NAIA schools. Our football program consistently fills the home side. We, we have won our conference three years in a row and we grew our band just two short years ago from 45 members to 210 in two years. And we're looking at being 300 deep in the fall. And if you play in the band, your out of state fees go away and you get a band scholarship on top of that. Your out of state fees also go away if you have a 3.0 GPA and when that happens, we are just about the most affordable historically black college in the entire nation. So that myth that you can't afford an HBCU goes out the window. You can attend Langston for less than $15,000 a year if you share a room COVID permit. Or if you want to be in a private room, 17,195 with your books. It does jump out if you do not have a 3.0, but we have some smaller scholarships to help with that if that's the case. We have one of the most accessible full rides in the nation, the McCabe Scholarship with a on a 22 ACT, your entire college could be covered, and we're extending the deadline till April 1st. The applications will go out next week. The Regent Scholarship, 3.3 GPA, and test optional, you could get your room and board paid for. 
Google Thurgood Marshall College Fund, they've got 18 scholarships up right now for public HBCUs, and they've got a lead internship with Apple, the NBA, and the NHL. You can see the rest of this for yourself, but we do have small scholarships that start at a 2.5. Our application is always free. We don't need a NACAC waiver. It's free. And a 2.4 GPA will guarantee you admission to Deer Langston. Lastly, I do want to say, do your financial aid. If you have not done it, you're late. You want to do it the first day it opens every year, October 1st, to get all the money you're eligible for. Lastly, I'm Kyle Gregory. If you choose to apply, send me a transcript. We can get you a scholarship by the end of next week, as long as you have a 2.5 and you're a high school senior. Thank you for your time. And don't forget to join us on our virtual tours at calendly.com forward slash Langston University. Great, thank you so much. Um, the next school we have is Jackson State University. If they are here, I don't think they are. Okay, if they do show up, we'll go ahead and move them towards the end of um, the session. But next after Jackson State University is Dillard University. Hello everyone. Greetings, my name is Jaquez Clinton. I am a rep college representative from Dillard University. I am also a 2019 alumni of this fabulous institution. Our mission is to develop graduates who are broadly educated, culturally aware, concerned with improving the human condition and able to meet the competitive demands of a global and technological, technological advanced society. Can you ever say that word? Our history. Dillard University can trace its roots back to the 18th to the mid 1800s from the merger of two institutions, New Orleans University and Strait College. Uh, these institutions merged together in the 1800s, in the 1930s uh, to charter our lovely university that is right here in New Orleans on September 24th, 1935. We are the oldest university, we are the oldest historically black college in the state of Louisiana. Right here, we have a stock photo of our beautiful campus. We were voted one of America's prettiest college campuses last year by Cosmopolitan Magazine. Our grass is green and our buildings are white. We are a private four-year liberal arts historically black college. Our students represent 38 states and four countries. We currently have about 1,200 students enrolled, so we are a small university. We are a family-oriented university, so coming here, you will be known by your name and face and not just the number. Our students to faculty ratio is 14 to one, which allows you to learn in a nurturing and supportive environment. And our average classroom size is about 18 students. Academic programs, Dillard University has 21 areas of study. One of our most popular is STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Under that discipline, you have biology, chemistry, computer science with the concentration in scientific technology, mathematics and actuary science, physics with a concentration in pre-engineering and medical physics. Dillard University is also the number two producers, number two producer of African-Americans with physics degrees in the United States. School of Humanities, under this discipline, we have English, film, mass communication with concentrations in multimedia journalism and public relations. There's music with concentrations in vocal performance and music industry and theater with the concentration in technology and visual arts. We are located in New Orleans, which is now known as Hollywood South. So any students studying film have the opportunity to take advantage of that opportunity, as well as work on four to 10 uh, signature films a year. Under our School of Social Sciences, we have criminal justice, political science, psychology, social work, urban studies, and public policy. We are actually, and I have some numbers here, uh, excuse me. We are one of the only uh, HBCUs in four Louisiana universities with a mock trial team. Uh, we have a really strong pre-law program here at Dillard University. School of Health and Wellness, under this discipline, there's public health with concentrations in community health, health systems management and health sciences and physical therapy and occupational therapy as well. College of Nursing, so we have one of the oldest nursing programs in the state of Louisiana. Uh, admission to our nursing program is, um, sorry, admission to our nursing program uh, takes place during the second semester of a student's freshman year after they take the um, HESI exam, which is the entrance exam for nursing. Coming under this discipline, nursing students have the opportunity to either um, become a registered nurse and get their bachelor's of science in nursing or become a licensed practical nurse and get their bachelor of science in nursing. 
Again, we have one of the strongest nursing programs in the state of Louisiana. College of Business. Under this uh, uh, discipline, there is accounting, financial economics, business administration with concentrations in international business, business management, as well as business marketing. Dual degree programs. So there are several disciplines here that allow students to take um, dual degree programs within any of our um, schools in our consortium. So if students were to study either biology and chemistry, they have the option to early medical to get into medical school early through our partnership with Boston University, New York College of Podiatric Medicine, and Texas Chiropractic College. Physics majors have the opportunity um, to take. Um, Sorry, they have the opportunity to partner with our um, Columbia University, Georgia Institute of Technology, Tulane University, and the University of New Orleans. Psychology majors also have um, opportunity for early entry into graduate school through our partnership with Western Michigan State University and urban studies and public policy students also have this option through our partnership with New School University and the University of New Orleans. Public health majors with a concentration in health education or health census management um, have the opportunity for, gradu for graduate school through our partnership with Louisiana State University, which is about an hour away in our state capital of Baton Rouge. Dilly University, we are a member of the NAIA and we pay play in the Gulf Coast Athletic Conference. We have sports teams in men's basketball, women's basketball, women's volleyball, men's cross country track and field, as well as women's cross country track and field. Students also have the options to participate in both cheer and dance teams as well. You notice I did not mention football, so that is a strike against us. Um, so all of our homecoming festivities are centered, centered around basketball. But again, we are in New Orleans, which is a college town. So there's always an opportunity to catch a football game. We have over 50 active student organizations, including the uh, Divine Nine Fraternities and Sororities. Uh, if there's an organization for students on campus that they don't find, um, they don't have anything that represents them, uh, it's not a problem for the students to start one. Uh, we live on a campus like Dillard, um, everything is integrated. Excuse me. So we have several opportunities for students to reside on our campus. There are two all girls dormitories. Uh, one is called Ed. We have a um, sorry um, all boys dormitory as well as a housing partnership with the Southern University of New Orleans as well. Uh, in response to COVID-19, we have plexiglass all throughout our building. We take temperatures once students and faculty uh, enter our campus, and there's hand sanitizer stations all across our campus. In order to become a Blue Devil, you need a 2.5 GPA and an 18 ACT. There's also a $36 application fee. Uh, we are now test optional for students who have at least a 3.0 GPA that was implemented for students who had trouble testing for because of because of COVID. Lastly, you can apply through the Diller website, the Common Black app, or the Common app. If you apply through the Common Black College app, we will waive your application fee. Um, direct cost Diller University is about thirty thousand dollars. I don't know what my time is, so I'm trying to rush through some things. Uh, there are several merit-based scholarships here at the university. Our top two are the university scholarship and the presidential. All of our scholarships are merit-based and do not require a separate application. Lastly, uh, my information is here on the bottom right-hand side of the screen. I am Mr. Clinton. I can be reached by email or the phone number below. Great, thank you so much. Um, before we move over to Kaplan University, I do wanna remind attendees, if you have any questions, um, please make sure to submit through the Q&A button. Um, there, the representatives are ready and able to answer any questions that you may have. Okay, great, we'll go ahead and get started and move over to Kaplan University. Hello, how are you all doing tonight? Tonight, I would like to share information about Claflin University, one of the oldest universities in South Carolina. We were the first university in South Carolina. As you can see, we were founded in 1869, and we were also founded by uh, the governor of Massachusetts. His name was William Claflin, and he was also a part of Boston College. And so that is a sister school, Boston College. If you have not heard of Claflin University, you will see that we are 50 miles southeast of Columbia, South Carolina, which is the capital of South Carolina. Also 75 miles northwest of Charleston. Therefore, we're right in the middle 
right in the middle of everything that you would need to get to. So if you're looking for beaches, we've got beaches in South Carolina. And if you're looking for the mountains, definitely have mountains in South Carolina. Our campus is 50 acres and our colors are definitely orange and maroon. So therefore, let me get to some other information really quickly for you. Let's get to some requirements. The requirements to get into Claflin University are a 2.8 GPA. We are test optional, but if you're looking for scholarships, you might want to turn in those standardized tests. So therefore, let me let you know what those are. For general admittance into Claflin University, you want to have a 2.8 for your ACT, you want to have at least an 18 on your ACT and SAT, excuse me, you would like to have at least an 880. So therefore, there are scholarships out there for you, and that is the Honors College Scholarship. But to get in there, you would like to have a 3.5 GPA, you would like to have a SAT score of an 1100 and over, which is a very competitive scholarship and an ACT score of at least a 24 and over. Now the Honors College is very competitive. They have SAT scores coming in every day, 1400 and over. So therefore, want those scholarships, let me let you know the presidential scholarship is what you are shooting for. That scholarship gives you everything for free. Everything for free. It's like you're going to a job for four years. Everything is free. And you also get a stipend each month. Now, the next scholarship is the Honors College Scholarship. That scholarship gives you everything free but your books, which is a great deal because books estimated cost the minimum $500. So therefore, it's a deal. And after that, everything else is monetary. So you have maybe $15,000 here, $10,000 there. And also, we have the AIA Scholarship. The AIA scholarship lets you know that you don't have to be a 4.0 student to get a scholarship at Claflin University. You need a 3.0 GPA, also a 900 on your SAT, and if you took the ACT, a 19. That will get you up to $7,500. So those are your scholarship opportunities at Claflin University. We're also affiliated with the United Methodist Church. So if your denomination is United Methodist, hey, you've got an automatic scholarship to Claflin University each year for $500. All you need is a letter from your pastor or minister letting us know that you are a member of his or that United Methodist Church. So therefore, there are lots of things going on at Claflin University. Let me let you know about the academics at Claflin. We have undergraduate majors over 39 of 39 majors. I know the screen is showing 37, but we have now 39 majors. Um, graduate majors, we have four. Online degrees, seven. Four of those are undergraduate, three of those are graduate. Um, student to faculty ratio, 13 to four. Right now we're in the COVID session, so therefore things have changed. We're virtual now. We do have students on campus as well. The average class size is 16, and also 83% of our faculty have terminal degrees. Let me let you know what the top five majors are. Those are biology, psychology, business administration, criminal justice, and mass comm. So we are ready for you if you are ready for us. My favorite major is biology because we have so many internships when it comes to biology, STEM program. Um, and we also have a lot of great programs when it comes to our business administration. Also, I want to share with you, we have 460 first-time freshmen, and their average SAT is a 940. The average GPA is a 3.4. So we are definitely a competitive school to get into. Also, we are a member of the NCAA Division II comes to athletics. And we're also a member of the CIAA, which is the oldest historically Black athletics college league. So we are a member of it. We've been in it for three years and we're doing our thing. So therefore, if you have any questions about Claflin University, I've put my information in the chat. Please 
email me at p payton p a y t o n at claflin Once again, it's in the chat. I don't want to take up too much time, but other than that, take our virtual tour. Please email me, and we will go from there. We are doing individual tours at this moment of three. So therefore, P.C. Payton, P-A-Y-T-O-N, at claflin.edu. Thank you very much for having me speak to you tonight and sharing this time with me. Thank you. Great, thank you. Um, we have one more university, uh, North Carolina a and State University. Um, again, if you have any questions, please uh, submit those through the Q&A and our representatives will be there to answer any questions you may have. a and University. All right, good evening. Um, I bring you greetings on behalf of our Chancellor, Dr. Harold L. Martin Sr., as well as our Director of Admissions, Ms. Jamia Tinney. My name is Tashina DeBru, and I am one of the admissions counselors in the Office of Undergraduate Admissions, and I am a two-time graduate of North Carolina a and State University. So I just want to share a little bit of information with you about our institution tonight. Um, as it relates to some highlights, we were founded in 1891, more specifically March 9th, 1891, and we were founded as a land grant university. So ANT was very fortunate to receive donated funds and land to begin to teach students about agriculture, which is the A in ANT. So when we started, we were an agriculture and mechanical arts college. We are a STEM focused institution. So if you're considering science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, ANT is the place for you. If you if you're considering other programs, ANT is still the right place for you. And I'll talk about some of our other programs in just a few moments. We are a doctoral research institution. So in 2019, we received over $64 million toward research that is happening on our campus by our faculty as well as our students. According to Money Magazine, we continue to be the most affordable campus in the state. With a student population, over 12,750 students, North Carolina a and is the largest HBCU. So we're the largest historically black college and university. And we're located in Greensboro, North Carolina, which is the third largest city behind Raleigh and Charlotte. Now, the reason why we exist as an institution is, of course, our academic programs. Um, I told you that we were STEM focused, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. But we have seven academic colleges and students come from all over to take advantage of many programs that we offer here at the university. We have the College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences, Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, Willie A.D.'s College of Business Economics, Education, Engineering, Health, and Human Sciences, Science and Technology. So students come to a and they major in Animal Science, Landscape Architecture, fashion merchandise and design, um, journalism, mass communications. If you have an interest in arts, we have um, a visual arts um, program, professional theater, criminal justice, political science, accounting, marketing, finance. Maybe you want to own your own business. We have an entrepreneurship degree program in the Willie A.D.'s College of Business Economics. We prepare educators. We offer elementary education as well as secondary education. North Carolina a is nationally recognized for our College of Engineering, our engineering programs. We are the number one producer both African-American male and female engineers. So certainly when companies want to hire engineers, a and is the place they come looking to recruit our engineering students. We have a nursing program, psychology, sociology, social work, biology. Maybe some of you are thinking about um, going to medical school. We have biology with a pre-med concentration. So we have over 54 majors and I would encourage you to visit our website to see the full list of all the programs that we offer. Our average class size is about 28 students. And although we have over 12,000 students that may seem like a lot to you, we still manage to have a student to faculty ratio of 19 to 1. So that means you are going to be known by your name at North Carolina a and You're going to be more than a number. I'll also mention to you that our female male ratio is 1 to 1. Student life, athletics with Division One. we're part of the MEAC, Mid Eastern Athletic Conference. Um, we will be transitioning to the Big Soft Conference beginning July of this year. We have 17 athletic teams. We have over 140 student organizations. Um, we have the Divine Nine. We have our Blue and Gold Marching Machine. That's our award-winning marching band. So there's a lot for you to do on our campus. We have campus traditions. We have 16 residence halls, ranging style from traditional style to sweet style. 
Requirements, you must meet the minimum course requirements from high school. So you have to have four units of math, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and an advanced math beyond algebra two, four units of English, three units of natural sciences, two units of social sciences, and two units of the same foreign language. The average student that we enrolled for fall 2020 had a weighted GPA with 3.624. So we are looking for students that are competitive with a 3.624. We are test optional for fall 21. Engineering and nursing, they have specific requirements. You can see the engineering requirements here. If you're interested in nursing, they have specific requirements for nursing, pre-nursing as well. Just to give you an overview of cost, tuition fees, room and board. In-state students pay approximately $20,000 a year to attend a and Our out-of-state students pay a little over $30,000 a year to attend the university. Then you want to think about personal expenses, transportation costs, and your cost for books and supplies. We do offer scholarships on um, full ride scholarships. The first one being Cheatham White. You can see the um, scholarship requirements there for Cheatham White. Lewis and Liz Dowdy is another full ride. And we have the National Alumni Association Scholarship. This slide just gives you an overview of the requirements. I would encourage you to visit our website. The financial aid page of the site will give you more details about these three full ride scholarships that we offer, but it will also talk to you about other scholarships that we offer at the university, academic departmental scholarships, merit-based scholarships, and there are also some endowments that students can apply for as well. All right, if you're interested in applying to a and you can apply through the Ag Admissions Portal or the Common App. We just ask that you only submit one application. There's a $60 application fee. We accept credit cards, checks, money orders. We also accept fee waivers from College Board, ACT, or NACAC, and those fee waivers can be sent via post mail or electronic transcript service. Recommendation letters for personal aids, essays, statements are not required, nor do we review them in the admissions process. We need to see your official high school transcript, which can be sent to us um, either electronically or via postal mail. Again, we are test optional for fall 2021. If you decide to send us test scores, they must be sent to us electronically directly from the testing agency. Our 2021 fall application deadlines, new freshman deadline is June 1st. Our international new freshman deadline is also June 1st. All right, we're here at ANT. We want you to know that we are here for you. So if you have questions, certainly reach out to us via phone, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Or you can always send us an email at uadmit at ncat.edu and make sure you connect with us on our social media platforms. Thank you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Um, we heard some great information from all the college representatives. Um, we do have some time left over about seven minutes um, or so. So we will um, go ahead and move into our um, Q&A portion where we get to ask a question and hear from all the representatives. Um, so the first question is, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? So I ask all the representatives that at this time to turn on their videos and camera um, to uh, answer this question. Well, I'll, I'll start off then. I would say basically the number one thing you can do right now is look for scholarships. Your GPA is pretty much just about what it's gonna be at this time if you're a high school senior. So apply for scholarships. Thurgood Marshall College Fund is a scholarship organization for the public HBCUs. United Negro College Fund is a, a foundation for the private HBCUs. Search both and go to their website once a week at least. Also look for community scholarships. So Rotary Club, Kiwanis Club, all these organizations in your neighborhood, not everybody can apply for that. Just the people in your city and you can take that money with you anywhere you go. So basically look for outside scholarships and don't stop until you're enrolled and then keep looking anyway. And just to back him up on that, outside scholarships can go anywhere you go. So let's just say you're not happy where you are and they have an institutional scholarship for you. But if you bring those outside scholarships with you, they follow you wherever you would like to transfer to. And also remember all the places where you love to hang out and eat like Frito-Lay, Burger King, McDonald's, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, Kentucky Fried Chicken, they all have scholarships for graduating seniors. So don't forget that. Look at those fast food scholarships. Use that phone for everything else like Snapchat. 
look at it for scholarships, put in fast food scholarships for seniors and it will come up. Trust me, I know because I've been doing it for a long time. I would say um, for students for the college process to just be be resilient in the process. I know now with COVID, uh, everything is kind of uncertain. Um, so I would just advise students to not become discouraged in the college uh, process. Um, it's a learning curve for everyone right now. Uh, so just be patient. Um, also, I can't echo that enough with the scholarships. Please, please apply. Um, Dillard is a UNCF member institution. So any of the scholarships on that website, we will honor those funds. Um, and just be, um, and try to find the best university that's for you. If you are able to visit, um, I would advise students to do that. We are offering campus tours on Mondays and Fridays at 10, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Um, so just try to, um, try to be patient with everyone as we're going through this global pandemic, but also just be mindful that this is a really important decision and just be patient and um, make the best decision for you. And only you know what that is and weigh out all your options. And don't be afraid to go out of state. I went to college out of state. On <laughs> I chose to build sight unseen and now I work here and it's been amazing. So don't be intimidated by any of the out of state universities as well. My advice to you as students would be to do your research, um, do your homework on each university that you um, are considering applying to. As you heard from all of us tonight on the panel, we all out universities all have different requirements. So it's very important. Um, I talked about minimum course requirements for A&T. So you definitely want to make sure that you do your homework. And that would definitely be my advice and research the university's website. Um, there are a lot of websites out there giving information, but go directly to the institution's website. Awesome. I think that's really great advice um, for our attendees. I think we have time for one more question. Um, what is your favorite event or tradition on campus? Um, so we can go quickly to make sure everyone has the opportunity to share. I think homecoming that links to me usually. <laughs> So real quickly, the whole state of Oklahoma comes out and shows out in this, I won't even show the clip, look at that crowd. The whole state converges and comes to Langston, Oklahoma in the middle of the country. It's an incredible environment. And on top of that, you get a lot of experience so it's like concerts from big name recording artists. It's just a great time. I would say- And right now at Claflin University, we used to have this great event called the Parting ceremony where at the end of orientation the parents would part from their you know their their their, their children um we're not doing that at the moment because of covid but at the same time that was a tradition and that was the greatest thing at claflin university the parting ceremony so and homecoming um here at diller we have a sacred tradition so we um we have our um, our oak tree. So what happens is for graduation, graduate, graduation. Can I talk today? Um, students are able to walk on our sacred grass, and I know that's common among certain other HBCUs because they don't walk on it until graduation day, and it's just a very symbolic ceremony. And we also have a um, really competitive rivalry with Xavier University, and so we play them uh, in two uh, championship games, uh, Crosstown Classic and Blue Devil Classic. So we go back and forth with them, as well as um, my one of my favorite events. Um, wow, I lost the name of it right now. <laughs> Been a long day. Is it the Bayou Classic? I was, yes, that's it. <laughs> It's a New Orleans thing, but I was trying to get that. It lost my mind for a second. I went to Tuskegee, so I remember the Bayou Classic, <laughs> and he's right. That is a great event in New Orleans. I'm done. Yes, yes thank you. <laughs> All right, Jiho, the greatest homecoming on earth takes place on the campus of North Carolina A&T State University. It is a fun time for all. Um, our students have week-long events. Alumni come back to town. Uh, we connect with the Greensboro community. If you ever have an opportunity, come experience the greatest homecoming on earth at North Carolina A&T. 
And let me let you know, there's nothing like an HBCU homecoming. Done. Great, thank you so much. Um, I love the energy tonight. Um, and I definitely have to say that I hope the attendees took something from it. So thank you all for coming. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, at When you close um, the end of this session and the window, there is a quick survey. So we ask that you um, please answer our four question survey that will appear. Your feedback um, is helpful for us and it's great. we greatly appreciate your time. Um, as more college fairs, virtual college fairs are happening, we encourage you to sign up for more sessions. And then lastly, um, the recording will be available, this recording will be available a week from today um, for your review. And so we hope that uh, you learned something and we thank you all again for your time and joining us this evening. Good night, everyone.